What's up Glammies and welcome back to my channel. It's me Mandy Glam and I'm back with another perfume video. So first off and always I want to thank you to all my new subscribers. I want to thank you to everybody that's watched my previous videos, liked it, shared it, shared your positive comments um, in my videos. I really, really, really thank y'all for that. I really do appreciate that. A lot of you guys say y'all like my videos and y'all always have nice things to say and I appreciate that. FYI, any negative comments will get blocked, baby, because I have a strong block game. You heard? So, this is gonna be a quick, fun video. I have a ton of samples, okay? If y'all saw my little mini collection video, at the end of that video, I pulled out this black bag, and then I pulled out like a little glass container full of samples, and I was just like, every day I come home and I look at these samples and I'm like, what are you going to do with these samples, girl? Like, they just can't sit up here and get old and collect dust. Like, you need to do something with these samples. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm going to put all my samples in this black bag. And once a month, I'm going to pick three samples from the mystery bag. Smell them. I'm going to spray them, smell them, review the notes. And maybe I just might find my next perfume buy. We'll see. So that's what this video is about today. Basically, it's a blind sampling perfume video really that's what it is so hopefully i will like the perfumes that i pick if not i didn't lose anything i didn't waste any money blah 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 blah, blah. so if you're interested in to see what i get out of my black mystery bag then keep watching all right let's pick perfume i'm really kind of excited about this video Let's see what I'm gonna get. Ooh, I hope it's something nice. Okay, so this is um, Artillier Cologne, and this is Santel Carmen. I know y'all can't see it; it's real small. But I'm gonna put a picture of the perfume somewhere up here or somewhere over here, and so you guys can see what the box looks like and all that good stuff. So I have my phone here and I'm going to go to, I think this is Fragrantica, Fragrantica, okay, this is a website that I always go to um, and I type in the perfume name and it gives me all the notes, it actually tells me if this is a popular perfume, the longevity, the notes, if people liked it, blah blah blah. Okay, so let me type in Santel Carmen by Artillier. This perfume uh, is an oriental woody fragrance for women. It was launched in 2014. The nose behind this fragrance is uh, a guy named Jerome Epitini. Top notes are lime, bergamot, saffron. The middle notes are sandalwood, guaiac wood, white musk. The base, base notes are Texas cedar. <laughs> I like it already, baby. Madagascar vanilla. So let's get to spring. I like it. Oh, child, I like it. Oh my God. And I know it's super expensive because anything that I like is expensive. I already know it. Oh my God. This, this is a very warm fragrance, y'all. This is giving me definitely, I definitely smell the cedar. I smell the sandalwood. I smell the lime. The top note has lime in it. Oh my God, it's so good. Bergamot, saffron. I smell everything in, everything that's listed in this fragrance, I smell it. Everything but the vanilla. It has Madagascar vanilla in it and I don't really, I don't smell it. But let me tell y'all, this fragrance is definitely gonna be a sexy date night fragrance. This is a wintertime fragrance. This is a fragrance for a woman that's very confident. Um, 
It is very sexy. I feel like it could almost be unisex. I feel like a man could actually pull off wearing this cologne or this perfume. It smells so sexy. It's very warm, very inviting. It's like, it's good. I, it is good, baby. This perfume is good. So it doesn't say, oh child, it do say, ooh, it, I was about to say, it don't say how much it costs, but baby, ooh, it's 275, y'all, ooh, it's 275, god, oh, man, see, like I said, everything that I like is expensive, but okay, with a name like Artelier, it's, it's, it's name brand, it's niche, for sure, like, this is a very niche smelling perfume, and I feel like it's what people describe as oud. It is very, it's very sexy. This is a heavy hitter. So, uh, it's 275 though. Ooh, it's 275. Okay, let me, okay, next. Ooh, ooh child, 275? Okay. What we got here, this is Idol by Lancome. Uh, y'all can't see this. I'm not even going to just do that because y'all going to be able to see it. This is Idol by Lancome. Let's give it a spray. Oh, this is pretty. Very feminine, definitely. Mm, I'm going to put the picture up there so y'all can see. Oh, this is pretty. This is definitely a floral. I haven't, I'm gonna try to get better at these notes. Y'all gonna see me like six, three, six months from now. Y'all gonna be like, oh, look at her. Oh, she know her notes. This is floral. It's the first top note I'm getting is floral. I'm getting a bouquet of roses, a bouquet of flowers. Roses in there somewhere. Maybe some lilies, but I'm definitely getting floral. So let's look this up. I have seen this um, perfume in the stores already. Well, maybe it's Idol by Lancome. Okay, um, this is retailing for $59. $59. Okay, that's more like it. Okay, my pocketbook is, is shaking her head like this. Okay, um, so let's get into the notes. This um, perfume notes, the notes are rose, roses which are grown in France, okay? These some French roses, I knew it. That first top note was a bouquet of flowers and I was like, roses, it smells like roses. Um, the other notes are bergamot, pear, India Jasmine, and it's described as a clean and glow accord. Okay, that's what, that's all I got. Um, do y'all want to know the longevity in this? The longevity is um, moderate, very long lasting. That's what people say. So yeah, this is, this is really pretty. Idol is really pretty, y'all. This is definitely going to be a girly girl fragrance. If you're that girly girl, you know, you always got your nails done and your hair did and you take an hour to pick out your outfits and you like to wear makeup and you just, you're just very feminine, this is going to be for you. Springtime, date night. Winter time, I think you can definitely pull it off in the winter time because of the bergamot. It's it has a lot of depth, so you can definitely do winter time. It is a very soft, pretty fragrance. So I don't know. Oh Lord, my spirit is saying yes over here, but my pocketbook is saying this one. So I don't know. It's ooh. I like them both. I like them both. I'm picking some good ones out tonight, y'all. Picking some good ones out. Okay, this is the last one. Let's see what we got. Mm, make it a good one. Make it a cheap, good one. Okay. Oh, okay. Now, this is uh, Marc Jacobs, uh, and this is Daisy Love. Now, I'm, I, you know, I've never really jumped on the whole Daisy bandwagon. I, I love Decadence by Marc Jacob, but I've never jumped on the Daisy bandwagon. A lot of people love Daisy, 
We gonna see if I like it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna spray it first. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this one first. And yeah, let me see. This is Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. Okay, I just want to make sure it's not the regular Daisy. Okay, we gonna let that dry. I don't know, y'all. You know me. I'm. I have a very grown spirit. You know. So. I need my fragrances to reflect that. You know, I'm not real big on florals. Um, even though I do like them, I'm not really big on them. This is pretty though. Okay, it's not really what I expected. It's definitely not like the original Daisy. This one has a little sexiness to it. I feel like, okay, let's see what's, and, and it, it's sweet. It has a sweet vibe to it. Okay, I'm definitely smelling floral. I think I'm smelling some kind of um, sweetness, which could be vanilla. It could be um, amber. Sweet. I don't know. Okay, let's look. Let's look at the notes. Okay, Daisy Love. I like it. Okay, don't come for me, y'all. The Daisy lovers of the world out there. Um, Daisy is just was not. Love at first sniff. I'm sorry, it wasn't. Okay, I like the bottle, it's very cute. Daisy Love. Uh, the notes are, um, it's a floral, just like I thought. It says that it opens up with a berry fruit accord. Okay, maybe that's where I'm getting that sweet smell from. Um, it also features driftwood, cashmere musk. Um, and yeah, it doesn't give me much. Okay, so yeah, that's all, that's all it gave me. I will put the picture up here so you guys can see what the bottle is like. I don't know when this came out. Oh, it says it came out in Daisy Love announced as a captivating and addictive scent for millennials. Okay, see, I, I was like, you know, when I think of Daisy, I do think of Millennials, young people, you know, something that my daughter would be into, you know, her friends and stuff like that. But this one actually smells more on the adult side to me. I, I like this one, okay? This one came out in April of 2018. By, it is pretty, okay? I like this one. Um, let's see, the users said that it's not very long lasting. Oh, that's sad. Oh well, so you guys, that was Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. <sighs> okay, y'all already know, if y'all been watching my videos, you guys know what I like, okay? I'm in love by Artillier. I'm so in love with that. Oh God, I'm gonna have to put that on my wish list. Jesus, please. It is so beautiful. Now that it's dried down, it smells so soft. It smells a little masculine. You can smell everything. The lime has faded. So now you're smelling those bass notes, which are booming. I mean, it is, this is definitely an attention getter. When you walk by the room, Pass by, down the hallway, they gonna smell you. This is sexy. This is sexy, okay. So if I had to, let me smell this one. Okay, the roses in this one are definitely prominent. You can smell this. If you love roses, you will love this Lancome Idol. You will love that. Um, okay, so the Daisy Love is at the bottom of the list. Actually, it's not even on the list no more. <laughs> so, I would have to pick the Artillier. I'm gonna put the picture up here. I would go with the Artillier because it is so sexy. If y'all got, if anybody out there owns this fragrance, comment below. Uh, do a review on it. I, I want to. I want to hear you talk about it. I because this fragrance is bomb, y'all. This fragrance is banging. It smack. It is so sexy. It is a beast. I love it to death. So I'm gonna go with the first one. So.
All right, that's it for this episode of the perfume mystery bag. So if you like this video, please like it. If you've watched any of my other videos and you like them, like those too. If you love my channel, say, put the side note, side note before we go. Hold on, cut the music, turn the music down, turn the music down. You know, I went to my dashboard on YouTube and there is about 87 to 90% of y'all that watch my videos but you not subscribe to my channel. I don't understand that girl. Like, what's up with that? Come on, show your girl some love. You know you feeling this channel. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned to my videos. Click the bell. Everybody say click the bell so you can get notifications. And you don't really have to. As long as you subscribe, you're gonna see the video anyway. So I would love you a long time if you do. Subscribe to my channel. So again, thank you for all right. Turn me up. All right. Thank you for checking out this video, and I will see you glammies in the next video. Bye.